news. Same to you. Um, we had the uh, two teens stabbed in Grand Central yesterday. I, I raised that to talk about. Two men. I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. About subway crime, transit crime in general. But if you have an update that on, it'd be appreciated. You have these hard. I just suck. I just I suck. Hard fought gains on crime that you outlined at the top. How sustainable do you think they are? First of all, like it if you yawned too. Amidst the backdrop of this continued onslaught of migrants that's costing money, <clears throat> canceled police classes. So bottom line, how sustainable are these crime gains? Oh my God! Wow, that is what this country has come to. We need to all be very con- That you identify as your top priority heading into 2024. I, you know, I, I, I think your question is so important because it is obvious that a person sees the text for the first. When I talk about the devastation impact of the migrant and asylum seekers, people only think about the volume of people that are coming in. There are byproducts to this. All right, you're only going to check your math on that. Cutting services, like we had to, we had to postpone the police class. Uh, looking at some of the uh, budgetary cuts. What's the other half? Cuts of having a body of people, many young, who can't work. <laughs> you know, you don't even need an imagination to figure out that if you have someone four or five months and said you cannot work, you cannot feed your family, you cannot provide for yourself, what happens? You know, lack of opportunities, you know. And <laughs>